All right, here we go. We've got question number six from our college algebra homework number two in my lab math. Uh, they give us the function f of x is 1 over 13x, and they want us to construct and simplify the difference quotient. So here we go up here in the screen. Our function f of x is 1 over 13x. And what I like to start with is just copying down the difference quotient. So the difference quotient is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find f of x plus h. And what that says to do, it says to take x plus h and plug it into x in f of x. Okay, so everywhere there's an x, we're going to put x plus h. And that's going to give me 1 over 13x plus h. And that is the f of x plus h part. Next, we're going to notice it says minus f of x. And that means that we're going to just subtract the original function, which was 1 over 13x. And then notice the difference quotient says that that is all over h. So this is all over h. And now we have to simplify. So what I'm going to notice is that I have two fractions. I've got this fraction and this fraction, and I'm trying to subtract. So if you're trying to subtract two fractions, you need to find a common denominator. Or in this case, we're going to find the lowest common denominator. What I notice, I notice that this second fraction has an x by itself that the first fraction doesn't, so he's going to need an x. Whatever I give to the bottom, I have to give to the top. And then notice that the second fraction does not have the x plus h that the first one has. And so we're going to need to give the second uh, denominator an x plus h. Whatever I give to the bottom, I have to give to the top. And now I want you to notice that these two denominators are identical. They both have a 13x and an x plus h. 13x, x plus h. And so now I have a common denominator. And so now what is that going to look like? Well, that's going to be x times 1, which is x, minus 1 times anything is itself. So 1 times x plus h is just going to be x plus h. I do need to put that in parentheses so that I'll remember to distribute this negative all over the common denominator. 13x, x plus h, all over h, all over h. All right, so now let's simplify this. If I distribute the negative here in the numerator, that's going to give me x minus x minus h, all over our common denominator of 13x, x plus h, now notice it says all over h. At this point, I'm going to shift gears, and I'm going to remember that a fraction bar means to divide. And so this is all divided by h. All right, so the reason I want to write it like that is so now I can see that I have division with fractions, and I need to do the KCF. That's the keep, change, flip. So we're going to keep the first fraction the way it is. We're going to change division to multiplication. And we're going to take the h and flip it. All right, here we go. Notice that x minus x, the x's cancel, leaves me negative h over 13x, x plus h. Change to multiplication, h is understood to be h over 1. If I flip it, that's 1 over h. And then notice that I have an h top and bottom, so those h's will cancel. The coefficient of this h was understood to be negative 1. So then if I multiply straight across, we're going to get negative 1 over 
13x x plus h and that should be the final answer let's plug it in and see if we're right negative 1 over 13x x plus h enter there you go so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.